So welcome back to another episode of Stoffer Garage. And on today's detail is a Dodge Dart that is um, beyond dirty, to be honest. This one is probably, I'm gonna let you guys vote. Let me know down in the comments below. Is this the dirtiest car that I've ever detailed on this channel? Because the one thing that you guys cannot tell from the before shots is the smell. This thing is nasty. It is almost gag worthy. So I'm probably gonna run the ozone generator first just to try to get rid of some of the smell so I can even go into it. There's even mold in the back seat, which means that the ozone generator is even more critical. So that way the mold spores aren't in the air and everything else when I start vacuuming. I mean, this thing, this is nasty. That's why I'm saying vote below. Do you think this is the nastiest car ever? And if you're new, smash the subscribe button down below, turn on those notifications because this is the kind of crap that you see on this channel, this nasty stuff. But by the end of it, I'll transform it. I'll make this thing look like new again. And this one is definitely gonna be a heck of a transformation. So with that being said, let's get started. So just the fact that this car is as nasty as it is, the first thing is obviously to remove these front seats so that way we can see how much stuff is underneath them and then get a better idea of how much of the carpet needs to be extracted, which is obviously gonna be all of it as you guys can see here. Let's play a game guys. Go ahead and guess in the comments below how much change I found in this week's detail. In the next week's detail, I'll give away a $100 gift card to Amazon for the person that gets the closest by next Saturday. So this is for you guys that are subscribed that have been loyal Stoffer Garage supporters. This is for you guys. I mean, all I gotta say is the different things that I removed from this car were very interesting, and I guess I gotta say, um, this person was very active, and to be honest, I guess, you know, one thing is is always good, is they definitely use protection, so, um, yeah, this was, this was an interesting car just from the very beginning. Now to get rid of the pet hair, I'm using the Foxtail Pet Detailing Brush, which you guys can pick up from foxclean.com. If you have pet hair inside your car or even inside your home, they work really, really well, and you guys will not be disappointed with their performance. They are the best detailing pet brush on the market today. I've tried out every single one of them, and that's why I carry this one in my personal store, because it is the best. Now, if you guys have been part of this channel for a while, you remember I detailed this Subaru back in the day and it had tons of holes in the carpets. The seats had tears and holes in them and a lot of the foam is removed. And this car is literally identical. Um, the good news is this is a dealer trade-in car. So the dealer that I'm working with on this vehicle in particular, were very understanding that this thing is never gonna be able to be detailed perfectly because of the amount of nicotine tar and grease embedded in the carpet and into the seats. That is gonna make it extremely difficult to remove and completely clean it. So um, making that expectation up front to whoever you're detailing and making sure they understand what is going to be possible is always a good thing to do. That way nobody's surprised when they see the car at the end.
One thing that is very hard to come across in this vehicle is the actual smell that continues to get worse and worse as I start removing you know, all the debris, vacuuming, and then when I actually start using the drill brush here shortly, the smell literally starts permeating and just coming out of the carpet, and it's, it's gag worthy. And for me personally, there's very few cars that I've ever detailed where I felt like I was gonna gag at the smell and at the disgusting you know, stuff that I found inside. Um, but this one is the one that did it the most out of any car I've detailed. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the nicotine inside this car and the, like, the tar from cigarettes is so caked on everything that I decided to try the Tornador to see if it was able to remove some of this stuff a little bit quicker than just a bristle brush would be able to. And sadly, it wasn't able to do, you know, that great of a job you know it was able to get into nooks and crannies here on the steering wheel and get the basic stuff off but the actual caked on nicotine tar that you'll see in a couple of these shots later on it wasn't able to remove very much but at least it was able to help soak it to make it easier to remove later on I will say this was the longest detail I've ever done in the inside of a car because of how much of this stuff was caked on and how hard it was to remove. I spent more time on this car than any other detail um, just because of that one factor and it just took forever to get the stuff off. No matter what tools I used, no matter what products I used, everything just took a lot longer to clean than typical for majority of my details.
Now on a completely different note, I do wanna say that I am extremely excited for spring, excited for everything to warm up, excited to get outside and just experience some fresh air and just start doing things again, especially after this whole last year we've all had with this whole COVID thing. Um, I am definitely excited to go to the beach, to def just go out and just about and be active once again. And I think it's safe to say that I say that for all of us, um, you know, just all of us stay safe, all of us have fun and just enjoy the outdoors again and just get back to normalcy. I think that's one of the best things that we all can do for our own sanity. So um, yeah, once spring gets here, take advantage of it guys and just get out and enjoy yourself and have fun and just try to get back to life as we used to know it. Now, when I talked about barfing earlier and puking, this is exactly the problem. This cup holder thing, I don't know what is in here, um, but once I soaked it with the all-purpose cleaner, the smell that came out of it was literally like pure throw up dog crap smell horribleness. It was just, it was bad. And it was the main reason why I almost felt like I was gonna puke on this detail. Now for the carpet cleaning and on the seats itself, I used a carpet cleaning solution that is very, very strong. Plus I added some degreaser to this because the, de the grease on the floors was so hard to remove that there's actually certain portions of it where it was just solidified that it wouldn't come off. And I'm, I'm guessing if I use like acetone or if I use something like that, I might've been able to get it out, um, but I prefer not to ever do something like that. Um, but also this hole in the carpet here makes me think that the owner of this car, the dealer, is gonna have to replace the carpet anyways. So I did the best job that I could, um, but also with the expectation that this is probably gonna have to be removed and replaced just to kind of make this car sellable again. <laughs>
Now, while I remove all the goo from this cup holder, one thing that I could recommend, if you guys want to try to win this gift card for next week a little bit more you know, accurately, um, go in the bottom right corner of the video screen when you're watching. You can actually slow down the video clip uh, to get a better idea and maybe count these coins a little bit better. So if you need to do that, go ahead and slow it down. Um, but on another note, um, yeah, sometimes with these cup holders and certain things, you have to use like a screwdriver to kind of pry out some of this stuff that's been solidified. Another method would be to use a steam cleaner to try to melt it a little bit more. Um, but sometimes just using a, a screwdriver or a pick works well too. So in a couple of videos, I busted out this tool. This is called an ultrasonic cleaner and it uses sound waves to vibrate the fluid inside of this container. And what it does is essentially cleans anything that you put in there without having to physically touch it. Um, and also has a temperature thing, so it heats it up too. So any bolts, any plastic trim, anything like that that you throw in there, it definitely helps clean it up. And for this video, I'm actually gonna be cleaning the key, which is also covered in cigarette tar. And I don't even, I don't even know how that's possible to be honest. So. I'm gonna go ahead and break this thing down, break it down to each individual component, and obviously the circuit board and the battery do not go in there, but everything else I'll be throwing into my ultrasonic cleaner to clean the key. And with that being said, if you're interested in any of the products that I use in my videos, I always have those linked in the description box below.
To start for the seats, I did try to use steam to get some of the grease and some of the, you know, solidified stuff on the seats itself removed because there was actually portions of the seats that had so much grease and tar on them that water literally could not even go through the fibers itself and it looked like almost like pleather, like it was just so caked on. So using my uh, microfiber towel and the steamer, it was able to remove it enough to the point where I was able to actually inject fluid into the seat like you typically would when you clean carpet or fabric. Um, yeah, this, this was definitely one of the most interesting cars I've ever detailed. Nastiest is probably better wording. <laughs> Now this right here is pure deliciousness. It's like Yoohoo, to be honest.
Now, I've mentioned it before, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it again, that this this is definitely the nastiest car I've ever done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say it is over any of the cars, and I'll take I'll take roaches or, you know, maggots over this stuff. I think the smell from this beats out anything I've ever detailed, and I am actually happy with how this thing transformed. It was a solid good eight hours that were easily put into this thing, and to be honest, I'm actually filming this voiceover, and I finished detailing the car about three hours ago, and this video is actually going live the same day, so this has been one heck of a day for me but I'm excited to get this video out for you guys. I was super stoked when I found out that this was the car I was gonna be detailing because it was a challenge. This was a very big challenge and sometimes putting yourself in hard situations is one of the best ways to learn the most and to grow as an individual. And for me personally, this video and this, this car itself tested me and made me learn a few things actually on how to detail faster and also on different ways to clean things. So. Always remember that a challenge is a way to learn and a way to you know improve yourself. So I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this transformation as much as I did. And if you're new, so hit that subscribe button down below, turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on next week's video. And I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.